There's a powerful time-saving tool in Excel that is right in front of you, yet few people use it to its full potential. Today, I'm going to show you how this simple tool can dramatically speed up your Excel workflow. Plus, I've gathered some must-have shortcuts specifically for this tool straight from our community to help turn you into a productivity powerhouse. That said, I don't agree with all of them. Controversial, I know. And I'll explain why when we come to them. At the top of the Excel window is the Quick Access Toolbar, or QAT for short. And it's about to become your new best friend, even if you prefer keyboard shortcuts over using the mouse, because I'll show you a hidden way you can leverage it with keyboard shortcuts. Most Excel users fall into one of three groups when it comes to the QAT. They might use it, but not to its full potential. They might put the wrong shortcuts there, wasting the most valuable real estate in Excel. Or worse, they ignore it altogether. Don't feel bad. Even advanced users who've been using Excel for years often overlook it. But when you customize it with your most used tools, suddenly it's like having a remote control for Excel. No more endless clicking through menus or searching for commands. It's all right there, ready to go. It's super quick to set up and modify. Let's take a look. To the right of the QAT is this tiny down arrow. Clicking it, you get a drop down containing a list of common commands you can quickly add to the QAT. The ones with the check marks are already included. Now, another way you can add commands to the QAT is by right clicking a command on the ribbon. For example, I often want the selection pane open, but it's usually multiple clicks to find it. So we can add it to the QAT, clicking on find and select. There's my selection pane. Right click, add to quick access toolbar. And now it's available for me anytime I need it. I can also remove commands from the QAT by right clicking on them and then remove from quick access toolbar. Now, sometimes there are commands that are not included in the ribbon, which you can find by clicking on the down arrow and then going into more commands. In the left panel, you have a list of commands that you can add to the QAT. Now it defaults to show the most popular commands, but clicking on this drop down here allows you to switch to various different groups of commands or search by ribbon or even contextual ribbon tabs. I'll filter for commands not in the ribbon. Now they're sorted alphabetically in this list and you can jump to a section by typing in the first letter or letters of the command's name. Now you'll mostly find legacy features in this group, but there are also some handy commands that are buried in dialog boxes like superscript and subscript here. Select the item, click add, and now it's in your QAT. Now, once you've got your favorite commands in the QAT, you can use the up and down arrows here to rearrange the order just how you want. Be sure to put your most used commands in the first nine positions and you'll see why soon. And then click OK. And now I've got superscript in my QAT as well. Now, by default, the QAT sits above the ribbon in the header, but you can right click and show the quick access toolbar below the ribbon. In this position, the icons have more space to include the icon name and they're closer to the action of the grid, but it also reduces the amount of grid real estate because now we've got this extra row of icons. So it's a trade-off. For me, I prefer to have it above the ribbon and maximize the amount of grid space I have visible on my screen. Okay, we're ready for our Excel community's top nine recommendations for icons to include in your QAT. I don't agree with some of them and I'll tell you why. Let's take a look. First up is paste values, one of the most frequently used commands. So it's no surprise that it's at the top of the list, though I'm personally not a fan of taking up a space on the QAT for this. However, I probably won't convince everyone to skip it. So let's start by showing you how to add it because this one's a little tricky. Now I'll just copy a cell to enable the paste special dropdown. And here we've got values. Right clicking on this and adding the gallery to the quick access toolbar doesn't do what you think. It just adds the pay special drop down, which for most of us, we really just want this values button. And if we hover over it, we can see it's called values and that's important. So let's right click and remove this from the quick access toolbar. And instead we're going to go in and customize the quick access toolbar. From the drop down here, I'm going to go to all commands and then start typing in values. If I scroll down, you can see values, paste values is here. Let's add it and click OK. And now we've got the proper paste values button available on the QAT. 
Now, the reason I don't think this icon is worthy of the QAT is because 365 users can use the new keyboard shortcut, Control Shift B. If you have earlier versions of Excel, then you can use Control Alt V. This opens the Pay Special dialog box. Press V for values, and then press Enter to click OK. Now, obviously, you need to choose whether three keystrokes are more effort than using your mouse. Personally, I don't think so because you'll get very quick at those keystrokes, but it's up to you. If you work with objects like shapes, icons, images, charts, that type of thing, you may find it frustrating selecting these objects one by one, especially if they're layered on top of each other like I have here with these arrows. Instead, you can go to the Home tab, find and select, and then convert your mouse into selecting objects. And then when I left click and drag, all I need to do is completely surround the objects with my mouse, and now they're all selected. And this is something I use regularly, so I've added it to my QAT. You can exit select objects mode by clicking the icon again, or just pressing the escape key. If you're like me and you want everything consistent, the Format Painter on your QAT is a great addition. It allows you to select a formatted range, click the Format Painter, and quickly apply it to another set of cells. Now this one you can add to the Quick Access Toolbar by right-clicking, Add to Quick Access Toolbar, and then with a single click, you can use it once. With a double click, you can use it multiple times. And then when you're done, press Escape to exit. Now, because this command really needs to be used with the mouse, don't worry about giving it one of the top nine positions on your QAT. This next one I don't agree with, it's Save As. Now, I don't disagree that saving a copy of a file is super common, so it makes sense that you want a shortcut for it. But the keyboard shortcut for this is the F12 key, and it doesn't get much simpler than that. The other benefit of using the F12 key to save a copy of your file is it opens the old File Save As dialog box instead of the clunky Backstage area. So a good command to add to your QAT instead of Save As, for those who use Power Query, and you should, is the Launch Power Query Editor window icon. You can see I've got it here. Now normally you have to go to the Data tab, click on Get Data, and then Launch Power Query Editor. Or if you have queries in your file, you can right click the Query and Connection pane here and go into Edit. But notice in just right clicking it, it's jumped me to the sheet with my query and it's selected the query. Now, a lot of the time, I want to reference another sheet in my file while I'm in the Query Editor. So this right click technique here is super annoying. Instead of that, if you have Launch Power Query Editor window icon on your QAT, you can jump into the Query Editor, select your query, and then see the worksheet behind the Query Editor window at the same time. By the way, if you're finding this useful and you want to dive even deeper into mastering Excel with support and mentoring from me personally, check out my courses over at myonlinetraininghub.com. They cover all the tips and tricks you need to know to become a true Excel pro. I'll leave a link in the video description and pinned comment so check it out. Filtering data is probably something you do all the time. So adding the filter and remove filter commands to your quick access toolbar makes managing large data sets much faster. You find them on the data tab of the ribbon. We've got filter and clear filter here. Just right click to add them. You can see mine's already available on the quick access toolbar. So this option's grayed out. And this clear filter button works for tables and pivot tables. Now, if you need one of these prime locations for another command, you might prefer to learn the keyboard shortcut for applying filters, which is Control Shift L, and that will save you an icon position. This next one I absolutely cannot justify. It's Merge and Center. I've ranted about this format so many times that I won't go there again now. Instead of using Merge and Center and causing problems for yourself, select the cells that you want to merge the title across. Control 1 to open the Format Cells dialog box. On the Alignment tab, under the drop down for horizontal, select center across selection. It's a bit more work to apply, and unfortunately, there's no button on your QAT for it, but it's worth these extra steps. In fact, if you use it a lot, write a macro to apply it and add a macro button to your QAT. Now, I'm on the fence about this next one. It's freeze panes, which is available on the view tab, and then freeze panes, and you'll find it here. 
While I think this is a great tool, I'm just not sure you use it often enough to justify it on the QAT. I guess if you toggle it off and on regularly, then that would make sense. But applying it once when you create the file, probably not. If you do want freeze panes on your QAT, then right clicking on it is going to add this gallery to the quick access toolbar. So you'll get all three icons and this drop down, which is probably not what you want. So remember, right click, customize the quick access toolbar. Click on the drop down here and select all commands and then type it in to search for it. There it is there and click add and OK. Simple yet absolutely essential commands are undo and redo. Now I know these have the shortcut keys control Z for undo and control Y or F4 to redo, which everyone knows. But being able to click on the drop down and undo or redo in bulk is a game changer. So be sure to turn these on from the default commands in the drop down here, if they're not already. Finally, if you're someone who juggles multiple Excel files, then switch windows available on the view tab allows you to quickly jump between your windows without having to search for them amongst all your other apps. So you can right click and add it to the quick access toolbar and then it's available there. However, you can also use control tab to quickly jump between your windows, and that's my preference. Seeing that I kiboshed a few of these, let's look at one more that is probably my most used shortcut, and that is Clear All. You'll find it on the Home tab of the ribbon over here in the Editing drop down, and we've got Clear All. You've also got Clear Formats, which might be handy if you do that a lot. Now that we've added all these tools to our Quick Access toolbar, you can make them even faster to use with Alt key shortcuts. This is one of those why didn't I know this sooner tricks that'll change how you use Excel? Every icon in your quick access toolbar automatically gets an alt key shortcut assigned to it. And the best part is you don't even need to memorize anything. Just press the alt key and Excel will display a number for each tool. Here you can see that my launch query editor icon is number nine. So all I need to do now is press nine and it opens the query editor. Now, if you have more than nine icons, as you can see, I do. The next set of icons start with 09, then 08, 07, so on and so forth. For example, if I want to open the selection pane, which is 09, I just press 09 on my keyboard and now it's available on the right. And once you've used these commands a few times, you'll have them memorized. Now you've got your quick access toolbar all set up with your favorite tools and shortcuts, and it's basically become your personal command center. But what if you switch computers or have to reinstall Excel? Don't worry, you won't have to go through all the setup all over again because there's a simple way to save and transfer your custom toolbar setup. Right click on the quick access toolbar, customize quick access toolbar. And then down at the bottom, we've got import and export. You want to export all customizations and save this file somewhere safe, like on a USB drive or cloud storage. And then anytime you need to set up the toolbar on a different computer, simply come back here click on the drop down and import your customization file and you're back in business in just a few clicks. So now your quick access toolbar is all set up. I'm sure you're excited for the productivity boost, but there's one Excel trick that I use literally every single day and it makes working in Excel so much easier. I honestly think everyone should be using it. So click on this video next and I'll see you there.